Hey guys, welcome back to Expop channel. We are making a very good progress in our certification preparation and I am pretty sure most of you must have gone through this playlist, UiPath certification playlist and I have already uploaded 8 videos by now and I hope you have already utilized them. Now let's get started and understand this question. Here the question says review the following graphics. Okay. So we need to have a complete logical understanding that's where we will be able to clear the certification. Now look at this graph. What is the activity being used? Parallel activity. And then they have got two different activities. They wanted to run it in parallel way. One is the find element for the calculator and the find element for the snipping tool. And reading the property during your certification and during answering the question, reading the graphics properly is very, very important. First thing, calculator. So this is the calculator property using the right find element. And same thing, this property is for the snipping tool. Look at, scroll down and try to see what are the options given here. So here, one of the options that they have given is timeout milliseconds is 5000 and the timeout millisecond for snipping tool is 10,000. That means it will keep on waiting for the calculator if the calculator does not appear milliseconds means 5 seconds within 5 seconds then it is going to time out if a uh, snipping tool does not appear within 10 seconds on the screen then it's going to time out all right so we have understood the graphics now let's read the question based on the configuration shown in graphics what is the result of the execution of these activities what would be the out if neither the calculator nor the snipping tool are open at runtime, look at this. While you are reading the question, what is the condition you should always read? So the condition says calculator or snipping tool are open at runtime, not open at runtime, right? Neither the calculator nor the snipping tool are open at the runtime. Okay. In that condition, what would be your answer? Workflow throws an exception after 5000 millisecond because the first activity is 5000 and second is 10,000 or uh, no exception is thrown at all. The workflow ends at 10,000 millisecond or workflow throws an exception after 10,000 millisecond because 10,000 milliseconds is the highest. Find element snipping tool activity times out exceeded. Is this true or no exception is thrown and the workflow ends after 15,000 millisecond, 10,000 plus. Okay. So these are all funny options. If you know, if you know how it will work. If you do not know how it works, then all this would appear logical. This may also even appear logical, which is actually not logical. This is a funny option given here. Even all other options are given funny options. So what is the right one? Do you know in a logical way? So let me explain you and try not to skip my videos. Reason being, I generally cover all the concepts which you may not get outside. Uh, so do not try to skip, try to learn it completely. One time learning, but again, you will have it for your lifetime, right? So let's get started. So here I have designed that, okay? I have already designed it and look how it appears. All right, so this is the design. And for the calculator, um, if you look at the property, I have applied 5000 timeout millisecond and I have applied 10,000 millisecond. Now, before we run, the moment we run, we will get to know the answer. But let's understand the parallel activity, what it does number of activities that you have put you can put how many number of activity you want to drag and drop you can do it you can continue click activity any kind of activity you can con continue to put like this okay any kind of activity so one so this is parallel activity so what happens the number of activities that you have put even this will start even this will start so if you look at the definition of parallel activity executes child activities asynchronously this is very very important asynchronously means synchronous way of running means running one task at a time running one task and after finishing the task moving on to the second task that is called synchronous and here it is asynchronous asynchronous means it will start multiple tasks at the same time it will run multiple tasks i mean this task and this task both the tasks will run at the same time that is called asynchronous remember this term is very very important also for the parallel activity there is a property called condition 
even this property is also very very important by default it will be blank so i am making it blank so this property is also very very important i am going to explain you that okay so what would happen remember one point you should always remember when when it comes to error in any programming what would happen if there is an error do you think the program will still continue to run no the error will always take the priority if there is an error what happens the program will stop yes or no if if there is no exception mechanism if there is no exception handling mechanism then what would happen if there is any kind of a problem the program would stop you should have that in in mind if there is an error anywhere whatever acts, let, let it be very simple activity even a message box okay if there is an error the program would first take the priority the, the, any application will say hey there is an error stop it will stop right it won't run again no until unless there is an exception handling mechanism you have created so do you think for the, both these activities anywhere they have created any continuum error or anything in that question is there any kind of a property being enabled or being nothing is enabled so it is a very simple activity they have used now and the condition is both your calculator application is closed and also your snipping tool application is closed so what would happen you are you already know this will also throw error this will also throw error so as i said the important key point here is what is the key point the key point here is if there is a error any program will stop if there is no ex uh, exception handling mechanism so there is no exception handling mechanism in this workflow so the execution will stop now tell me where it will stop first because 5000 millisecond after this it will time out so this will throw the first error right then after 10 second this will throw the second error but the program will stop as i said the program will stop the moment the error appears it will stop so the moment so what would be the answer so the find element calculator this error would appear first so your answer is is workflow throws an exception after 5000 millisecond find element calculator activity time out etc so this is the answer it will throw an exception the moment it throws an exception because there is no exception handling mechanism the program will stop so let me show you let's run it okay now uh, after this i am going to explain the condition property okay that is also a very very important property and you may get questions around that so let's see so now what is happening look at it it ran and then find element windows calculator this is the error activity timeout exceeded okay so within 5 second this will run now now what happened is we could not understand whether it took 5 second or 10 second right so let's do it in a debug way run it in the debug way so that we will be able to at least see it so the moment it starts uh, activating this window we'll count 1 2 3 4 5 okay almost around uh, the count of 5 it started giving an error so do you understanding so wherever there is a error that will take precedence if there is no exception handling mechanism so that is the key point you should remember very simple one but this is the key point you should remember if you remember this right error will take the priority if there is an error that will only it will stop the program okay if there is no exception handling mechanism so your answer is you got the answer this is the answer now the second thing very very important aspect is a parallel activity also has a condition okay so how do you work on that condition what is this condition is all about now for this we can't go with this example let me uh, show you a simple example let's say right line um, activity i will take i'll put some right line activities okay so there are uh, there are let's keep it simple let's say two right line activity and let's add a sequence so what i am doing uh, there is one single right line activity and within a sequence i am putting let's say two right line activities okay and here it should write let's say one and here let it write two uh, and let it write three okay now what is the definition of parallel activity all these so there are two branches right this is one branch with single activity this is another branch with multiple activities but all the branches will start at the same time right and then within the branch it will work now 
do you which branch will complete first let's say this this both the branches have started working at the same time this branch will complete its task first right because it is only one and there are two here so this branch will start the execution complete the execution first so this condition property that you have if you set it to true this is all you can call it as completion condition so what would happen if one branch completes its task it is going to stop all of the branches so let's say let me create one more branch let me copy paste okay and drag it to this side so there are three branches now let's say this is going to print four this is very very important and you might even get questions around that because nowhere you will get those explanations four and five okay so now what would happen you know this branch will complete first but just by looking at it you know this will complete it, it task first so this condition branch when it is set to true if one branch completes its task it is going to stop the other branch execution completely but if you do not set it to true or if you leave it blank it will run everything will run in a synchronous way everything will complete until unless there is an error everything all the tasks will complete okay so let me show you first of all let me leave it blank okay i am not setting the condition now and let's quickly debug it okay and uh, look at the output panel So what happened? One has been typed, two is typed, three, four, five. Okay, all the execution is completed. Now, if I am going to set this condition to true, okay, if I am going to set the condition to true, click on OK. All right. Now, if you uh, let's say debug it, okay. So if you debug it, what would happen? The moment it writes one, it is going to stop the entire project. It's going to stop uh, that parallel activity is going to come out of it okay look at this so one has been typed and see it did not type anything it came out of that parallel activity completely right it came out of it you can put a message box below the parallel activity you'll see the message box get printed after that okay so what what you saw here condition property of parallel activity you can also call is call it as completion condition so if any branch gets completed any branch so these are all one one branch one first branch with single activity second branch with two activities third branch like that so thank you guys for watching this video we are going to come up with more such interesting contents take care bye bye